Students, now we will discuss uh, the community organization, which is the primary method of uh, social work uh, profession. Uh, before uh, going to define the term of community organization, uh, which is a constitute of two terms, community and organization, we will see what is the concept of community and how can we define the community. Community is a group of people living in the same place or having a particular characteristics in common. So we can say that uh, a community can be said the, com and community is comprised of uh, the people who are living uh, within the same geographical area and sharing the common characteristics. The term community denotes permanently shared lives of people over a region. Uh, means uh, uh, this is the broader concept of uh, community that uh, people who are living in a region can be considered a community like uh, South Asian region, Asian region, like uh, Pacific region, like uh, uh, Middle East region. And uh, we say that the Arab community is living within uh, uh, the uh, Middle East region. And uh, uh, we say that uh, the people who are living in the South Asian region share the common characteristics. So on the basis of that, uh, the, the people who are sharing the same region can be considered a community. Community means a permanent local aggregation of people living diversified um, uh, as well as a common uh, interest and served by a constellation of institutions means uh, that uh, a collection of uh, people uh, and it is not necessary that uh, they are uh, sharing uh, only the common interest. They may have the diversified interest as well. Uh, but they are uh, serving for the community and they are served by a cluster of institutions, a network of institutions. Then we see that community is uh, a group of uh, two or more people who are connected through common interests and characteristics or a geographic location or identity in social, cultural, political, economic or professional spheres. So uh, these are the basic uh, elements of uh, community that uh, people who are living within the same geographical area or location or uh, people are uh, sharing the common characteristics uh, uh, on the basis of cultural, political, economic or uh, professional linkages and interests. According to popular Oxford Dictionary, the word community implies togetherness. So community, from the word of community, we get the feeling of togetherness, which connotes and refers an organization of human beings framed for the purpose of serving together, uh, who are living together, who have the interest to serve one another, uh, and who, are, uh, who want to be served by the community people and uh, enjoy the feeling of togetherness uh, can be called the community. Then, uh, if we see the dimensions of uh, the community, uh, there are certain dimensions uh, uh, which are necessary to be known by the community workers. Uh, that uh, a community must be defined so the stakeholders can be identified and uh, appropriately involved in the various stages of the community development process. So, uh, the community uh, has the dimension of the place that uh, the community people are living within um, the same uh, geographical area within the boundaries of uh, same place and then the population of the community that what is the composition of uh, the population of uh, the community uh, on the basis of age on the basis of gender ethnicity and, uh, and their professions and then another dimension of community is uh, the political system, that uh, whether the political system of that community is uh, based on democracy or whether the community is ruled by the military elites or uh, dictatorship is, is existing within that community. So it is, it, it is important to know um, by the community organizer to understand the community. Then. What is the social organization of the community? What kind of the social institutions are existing within the community? And uh, what kind of uh, the social uh, 
dimensions uh, of uh, the community existing over there. Then uh, what are the cultural patterns of the community? What are the behave behavioral normative patterns of the community? This is important to understand the community and important dimension uh, of the community. Then uh, what is the economic system of that community is? Uh, uh, what kind of uh, uh, the professions uh, uh, are existing in that community? What are the uh, economic activities uh, uh, which are present in that community? In what kind of uh, economic activities the people of that community are engaged? Uh, uh, for example, we can say that uh, um, the economic system of uh, that community is based on a formal system or the informal economy or people are engaged uh, in manufacturing services or people are engaged in agricultural sector. So what is the economic system of that community? This is important to know. And uh, if, if we understand the dimensions of the community, we will be able to work better in the community and for community organizations. So uh, for community organization, it is essential to understand all the dimensions of the uh, community because uh, the, all the social actors can be identified in appropriate manner and can be utilized for the benefit, for the well-being of the community. Now we define the term of community organization. Uh, community organization is a basic primary method of social work profession in which efforts are made by a practitioner social worker, by a professional social worker, to render welfare services for the well-being of the community. Uh, uh, community organization is uh, uh, a basic and primary method of uh, social work profession like other methods of social work, uh, which uh, the aim of uh, other methods of social work is, uh, is also to provide the welfare services uh, uh, on individual basis uh, to the groups, um, but in community organization uh, as a primary method of social work, work, the community social worker is concerned uh, to render the welfare services within the community. As a primary method of social work, community organization implies those welfare measures which are undertaken by the members of a community in accordance to their needs and resources. Another uh, way of defining the community organization is that community organization is a process which denotes and refers uh, to that kind of process in which development of community is taken in terms of a single unit and is meant to be applicable to the community as a whole, which means that the uh, Development and endeavor in community organization is considered a single unit. And uh, uh, the place or the landscape where the community organization is going to be practiced is taken as a whole. So, so we can say that a holistic approach is used uh, in community organization to serve the interests of the community to solve the problems of the community. McNeil, uh, a famous social scientist, defines community organization as the process by which the people of communities as individual citizens or uh, as representative of different groups join together to determine social welfare needs, plans, way, ways of meeting them and mobilizing the necessary resources. According to this definition, we understand that uh, 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 the individuals who are living in that community or uh, who are working in their, whether in individual capacity or whether the representatives of the crops, but they join hands and work together in the identification of the needs of the community as well as uh, in planning um, for the solution uh, to eradicate these problems and for the utilization of the community resources, they work together for the uh, welfare of the community and community is taken as a whole and uh, the development activity is uh, considered as a single unit. 
another definition given by Mildred Berry says uh, that uh, community organization in social work is the process of creating and maintaining a progressively more effective adjustment between community resources and community welfare needs. This adjustment is achieved through the help of a professional social worker and the participation of individuals and groups in the uh, community uh, means uh, basically the community organization is concerned uh, is uh, concerned with a better adjustment of uh, creating and maintaining uh, the uh, maintaining the adjustment between resources and the needs of the community but this process is done with the help of a professional community organizer, which is also said to be the professional social worker. And uh, also at uh, every level and uh, at every stage, the individuals and the groups of that community are uh, uh, being involved for the welfare of the community. Community organization is basically a process based on rational approach of a uh, social work profession uh, through which uh, welfare needs of a community are met by creating harmonious combination between the community needs and resources. Uh, it means that uh, uh, neither the social work profession promises the unreal development of the community which is beyond the scope of the community people uh, not the community worker, uh, not the uh, social worker makes uh, uh, the wrong commitments with the community people, which is uh, beyond the scope of uh, uh, the social welfare services and which is the beyond of uh, uh, the community resources. Because uh, in so community organization, organization, the major emphasis is on the utilization of the community resources. For the, uh, with the tackling uh, of community needs and problems. Community organization can be said a participatory process through which communities are helped to identify common problems or goals, mobilize resources and develop and implement strategies for reaching their goals they have collectively set. So uh, is, this is uh, important and significant that the community uh, goals are set by the community people, efforts are made by the community people, and uh, strategies are set by the community people uh, to achieve these goals and objectives for the welfare of the community. Uh, basically, community organization is a method of social work which is concerned with the welfare of the entire members of a community. A professionally qualified social worker facilitates a community to work for their felt developmental needs and help them to utilize the necessary resources, uh, which means that the professional social worker works as a facilitator and works with the community people for the identification of their needs of uh, their community and uh, in, uh, in deciding the strategies for the solution of these problems.